Uh, it's late again. I'm just going to do a quick vid on the new Flux Creo Dev model and show some results versus other products as this model has been more focused towards photorealism. So in my opinion, it's sort of closer to Flux Pro 1.1 Ultra, um, but it's for free. So um, not too sure what's going on there from the company. Um, hopefully to get some good results and um, have sort of photorealism without having to search around for LoRa's and adjust settings and things like that. So yeah, let's um, have a look if it's worth using. On the Black Forest Labs website is the information about the Flux Creo Dev model, calling it the opinionated text image model, uh, saying that it overcomes oversaturated AI look that photos do. Um, I'm not going to go too much into that. You can read that on the website. But here's the benchmarks that they've got here. Um, so the normal Flux 1 Dev that you used to is down here. Then there's the paid pro version. And then there's the Crea just above that. After that you do have the pro version. And you have the Context Pro. And, and you've got the Flux Context Max version. Uh, interesting they don't have the Flux Context Dev model there. I'd like to know where that's sitting amongst those. But anyway, if you want to use this straight away, you can go over to Hugging Face and on the spaces there, you can type in your prompt, you know, um, and you can just click um, Generate. And that's it, you know, and it'll probably take a while if I'm click that now. It'll probably take ages. Uh, yeah, I know, it's not too bad. Um, and that'll generate. I don't have too much options on here. And it might get uh, flustered with, you know, people uh, going on there quite a bit after a week of this being up there. But that's a really nice generation without doing much at all. In Conf UI, just got our workflow open. And there's our quantized model there of the Flux Crayon model. I've put a Turbo LoRa there just to get some more speed. And the T-Cache there as well. Um, it's just going straight into the model there as usual steps down at 12 because of that speed up LoRa and the CFG at one um, so there's not really a lot different here if you're used to this sort of layout um, what what do we need just the normal thing the clip L safe tenses the same text encoder um, we've got our um, VAE there as we normally do with normal flux and I've just done that prompt there, photo of a woman with blue eyes, brown hair, and a forest close-up camera shot. All right, so that's that's the result that it's produced with my quantized model. Still a little bit AI looking, um, but I do have some photos to compare it to. So who I'm going to compare it to, I go back to that image leaderboard, have a look up here, Sea Dream. Uh, I'm not going to go into chat because that takes too long to generate. Um, Image in 4, which is Whisk, got Kling there, um, and we've got down here Recraft, uh, the Flux Pro Ultra, um, Ideogram, High Dream. So I'm not going to go as far down as Mid Journey, um, but bring up my own photos here. So first I'll bring up this one, which is another one done in the new Flux Crayer. So, yeah, still got the, the very same look. Um, that was actually done on, off the Hugging Face website. Um, this one here was Flux Pro. So I think the Flux Pro Ultra is a little bit better looking, just a little bit more real. Um, and the next one, well, that's High Dream. So same prompt on all of these. And High Dream decided to make two heads. Um, I'd don't know why it is. I've really gone off High Dream um, because of its slow generation and it's just not getting the things that I want. So, um, but the next one was Ideogram, definitely one of the best for photorealism. Um, that does not look AI. That is a really good result from them. Then I've got the Kling. Now, Kling, every time I generate, I've got these, I don't know if you can see it there, but there's these funny little lines along it. Um, the generation itself is not bad, but they've got these lines through every one, so um, I couldn't use it. It's unusable. That's the original normal flux, so that is 
the worst result of the lot. It is very oversaturated, very stable diffusion looking. And this one's probably one of my favourites, Recraft. Photorealism is really good. Uh, I like the shot. That one is Sea Dream, not bad, but the background is, is just a little bit weird um, on that. And the last one is Imogen 4 or Whisk, which isn't too bad. So, I mean, I use Whisk all the time um, because of its photorealism. Um, but because I've done this test, I may go and start using Ideogram or Recraft. Those are that'd be my top three there. Um, still, I'm still liking them better than Flux Crea. Um, it's it's sort of not really getting there. So it'll be interesting when it goes on to the leaderboard where it ends up. Went back and did a few more generations in Comp UI just to see if it keeps doing the same sort of look um found out that it does i mean all of these um i've just sort of changed the background kept the same sort of prompt but just changed the background atmosphere that um the woman's in and you know that that's a good shot that one there but they definitely do sort of keep the same look which can be quite annoying after a while it looks the more i zoom in it's more sort of ai-ish um you know it is it's definitely useful it's definitely better than the standard flux dev um you know i guess it's for free so yeah yeah so if you want to use some of those other products i'll put those links in the comments um but i'll just show this glyph here if you haven't used glyph before you just go there click on build build a glyph and comes up with here click on this this is a credit system obviously um you get so many cre daily credits well it's 10 or something like that um you can do image to image or image to video um from here today i'm just going to use this image generator coming here but the cool thing is you can drop down your model and choose them here so you get usage of so you've got image in four you've got um ideogram there you've got c uh dream and you've got the Flux Pro context, but you've also got Flux Pro Ultra, which is useful, and Flux Pro Normal. And yeah, it hasn't got the Crea on there yet, um, but it'll be on there probably not that far away. But this is a useful product to use. In, and yeah, you just type your prompt and run this uh, glyph, and that's it. Right, first of all, to get this going in Confi, I need the model, which is from Quantstack. Um, various sizes there choose which one suits your vram and stuff and we're also going to need um, the ae safe tensor from here the clip l safe tensor and you're going to need the text encoders choose one of them um, and then you'll need the turbo alpha laura to speed it up um, just uh, if you get some weird errors Make sure you've got the right one of these um, safe tensor here. I find sometimes you get a um, doesn't match size error and you will you can flip between the scaled safe tensor FP8 and the other FP8, right? And that might solve that problem. Um, but yeah, that's what I've found. Anyway, um, it's not that much of um, a hassle to get going and you can start generating and put some feedback on my comments to see what, whether you um, think it's worth using.